go down all hills. Um, um, and it's also nice if you can share it uh, in your network, uh, feel free to do so. Great, the recording just started. If you don't feel comfortable with a recording, uh, just uh, leave the camera off and uh, nobody will know uh, that you are uh, that you are here. So uh, great uh, to have you all here together today. I will share the presentation. I hope you can all see my first slide here. I don't see anybody. Yes, thank you. Uh, so the webinar today, the info session is on the business partnership facility enterprises for SDG. And for those of you who just joined, my name is Elke and I manage the facility for the King Baldwin Foundation. And the next slide, there we go. So I start with, uh, with a summary of what the call is about and I will zoom into all the different aspects more in detail uh, on the next slides. So what is the call all about? We want to give financial support to the private sector to stimulate their involvement in contributing to the SDGs in developing countries. What kind of projects do we support? It's uh, entrepreneurial initiatives contributing to at least one SDG in a developing country in Africa. We are looking for a partnership consisting of at least one business entity. And the project has to be in line with the core business of the business partner or the business partners involved uh, in the project. The project has to be located in Africa or in Palestine. So there are 27 eligible countries. We will come to the list uh, later on. And there is no focus on a specific sector, but we do have three priority themes. How does it work? How do we support uh, the selected projects? It is a non-refundable matching funding. So we can support between 50,000 and 200,000 euros. Uh, there is a continuous, or I have to say, there was a continuous call for projects between 2019 and 2023. And the final round, the final selection round, the final call for projects is currently online. BBF is initiated and is funded by the DGD, by the Belgian Development Corporation, and the operational management is entrusted to the King Baudouin, King Baudouin Foundation. So currently the ninth and the final uh, selection round, the final uh, call for projects is online and you can submit your project until the 5th of September. Uh, there is sometimes some, so, some confusion when we write down 0509, but it is the Belgian way of saying it's the 5th of September and not the 9th of May, which is already passed, of course. Uh, so the 5th of September um, is, the, is the deadline for the call. And then we have the selection process and the selection committee will meet mid-December 2023. So we will zoom in into the different aspects of the call, uh, first into the kind of projects that we're, we are looking for. So we are with this call, we are really targeting entrepreneurial partnerships that contribute to the SDGs in Africa. So the project must contribute to the achievement of at least one SDG. And we have the three priority themes here. So climate, environment, and biodiversity, gender and female entrepreneurship, and decent work and social protection. So um, your project really has to be in line with one of these three priority themes. It has to be a profitable business initiative, maybe not yet making profit now, but uh, becoming profitable in the near future. So it's important that with this call, we really target companies, we really target business initiatives, unlike most other uh, call for projects within the foundation where we mainly target nonprofits, this call is specifically for business initiatives. We are looking for a partnership uh, that brings together different actors from the private sector, uh, civil society, research institutes, uh, public sector, 
um, from the north, from the south, uh, a south-south partnership is also possible. Um, so the partners can be Belgian, European, international, can be local entities. So all combinations are eligible uh, for this call. The project must be part of the core business, must be in line with the core business of the business partners involved. And the project can take up to three years. Here is a list of uh, 27 eligible countries. So the project must take place uh, in one of these countries. It's also possible uh, that the project takes place in two countries or more countries on, these, uh, on this list, but uh, the BPF grant has to go to, uh, to these countries. Later, I will come back to uh, the grantees that got support in the past, and there you will see that some projects take place in different countries. Uh, and it's true that the list of eligible countries changed uh, during the course of, of the mission. So in the beginning, we had 52 eligible countries, uh, which was far too much. Um, so no, now we focus on these 27 countries only. So these are the countries where the project take place. Now we will talk a little bit uh, about the, the kind of projects that we are looking for. And we have two main aspects uh, that we look for uh, in the different projects. One is the social and environmental impact uh, of the project, and one is the economic viability. And when you submit a project, you must demonstrate both uh, aspects. So the social impact or environmental impact can go uh, many ways. We look at the number of full-time jobs created and then maintained, um, improved average income for low-income families, that certain uh, goods or services become available for low-income people. Uh, so, so it's really about uh, inclusivity uh, that, that we look for. Also a positive impact on the environment, uh, of course, uh, that's also uh, part of the SDGs, saving resources, reducing carbon emissions, uh, preserving uh, the biodiversity uh, and things like that. So again, the three priority themes, what the social and environmental impact is concerned is climate uh, and environment and biodiversity, gender and female entrepreneurship and decent work and social protection. Next to the social and environmental impact, we also look at the economic viability of the project. So we are looking for partnerships uh, that can clearly demonstrate how the initiative, how the project will become financially sustainable, will become independent from future uh, grants and donations. The project must show a competitive financial performance and signs of scalability and uh, replicability. So again, social, environmental impact, and the economic viability are equally important uh, for this goal. Um, what the timeline for, uh, for the call is concerned for this now ninth uh, selection round. So projects can be submitted until the 5th of September. Um, after that, we will do an eligibility check and the pre-selection. The eligibility check that's mainly uh, on the country, if the right amount uh, is requested, uh, if there is a matching funding uh, of the, the right uh, amount. Um, so the, these are el eligibility criteria. I will come back to that later on. And after the eligibility check, we will do a pre-selection. That will take about four weeks. And after this phase, uh, we will transfer um, the pre-selected um, projects to an independent jury and they will study the projects as well. And in line with the jury, we will also uh, have an ESG screening of the four profit partners. I will come back in detail to that uh, later. So uh, the meeting of the jury will take place in the first time of uh, the first half of uh, December, uh, and then we will announce uh, the selection and we will start with the grant formalities. So this is the ninth selection round uh, over a period of five years, and this is the final one. 
uh, here again, uh, the eligibility and the selection criteria. Of course, the project has to be submitted on time before the deadline. All information provided must be in English, French or Dutch. Um, all questions must be answered and all annexes must be provided. Uh, we are looking for a partnership with at least one for-profit partner, so not only non-profits uh, or academia, also uh, an, a, a company. We look at the right country. If the requested uh, amount is between 50,000 and 200,000 euro, and if the matching funding uh, to at least the equal amount uh, can be contributed by the for-profit partners. So this is an eligibility uh, check. If, if your project does not is not conform one of these criteria, we will not even look into the details of, of the project. So it's very important that these basic criteria are met uh, before we look into the project. If all criteria are met, we will look uh, into the sel selection criteria and if your project fits uh, there as well. We look at the project management, so the efficiency, if the necessary. Uh, project, it's on its way to become self-sustainable. Uh, we also look at the additionality of the grant. So, um, I get a message that my internet is unstable. Sorry for that. I hope you can still hear me. If I get a message again, I will check if there's something I have to do. But for now, I will just continue. So let me know if, uh, if it's not clear. Um, so the additionality of the grant, um, um, we will check or we will try to 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 judge if the project can take place without the grant or not so if if, if it's a very big project and bbf is just a minor part we question the additionality uh, if, if if you already have access to venture venture capital then we will question the additionality of the grant as well uh, if, if if one of the partners is a very big company with enough financial resources then we question the additionality so uh, please keep this in mind uh, when you're creating the the project as well we look at the innovative uh, aspect of, of the project and the impact on the sector and on the market. So project management, economic viability, social and environmental impact, the effect on the SDGs, and we check if it's in line with uh, one of the priority teams. After the eligibility check and the pre-selection, all projects that pass the pre-selection, um, we will contact the for-profit partners, we will contact the, 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 the businesses, the, the companies present in those partnerships, and they um, will be subject to an ESG screening by an independent organization. ESG stands for Environmental, Social and Governance uh, Screening. So um, this is an independent company. Uh, it will be CITEX for, for this selection round. And uh, CITEX will, will send you a very detailed questionnaire. So it's not a site visit. It's a, a self-assessment questionnaire that, you, that the business partners have to, have to complete. Um, for this ESG screening. The scores of this ESG screening are discussed during the jury meeting. And just to reassure you, it's not, uh, with BPF, it's not that we only want to support the best in class. So if it's, it's not only those with the highest uh, or, or the best ESG ranking, um, we also want to give you the opportunity to improve on your ESG uh, points and the BPF grant can help you to do so. Um, it, but it is true that if you decide not to participate in this ESG screening, we cannot grant you support. So non-disclosure of information means no grants. 
Uh, this will take some time of the business to complete these questions, but it will also give you very insightful information on ways to approve. And it's also like a nice report that you will receive and that you can share with other uh, stakeholders as well. Important to mention that we will pay uh, for this screening. So some more details about the grants. As I mentioned before, you can request a grant between 50,000 and 200,000 euros. And this can be up to 50% of the total investment that is needed for this project. So this implies that the project, the total project budget must be larger than 100,000 euros. And the other part, the matching funding has to be contributed by the for-profit partner or for-profit partners of the partnership. This must be a cash contribution and it cannot be a valuation of pre-existing assets, uh, no in-kind donations, no other grants or subsidies. It really has to be an investment of, uh, of the for-profit partner. Co-financing can be provided by, by different partners together if you have several for-profit partners. Um, so it can be a joint application and the matching funding can come from different partners. A loan from a financial institution can also be considered as part of the co-financing. And uh, if you already have to make expenses before the start of the project, Expenses until three months before the submission deadline of the of the call can be uh, considered, can be counted in for the matching funding. So, for instance, if you already have to order uh, machinery um, before, you know, that, that, that you will get the grant. And if you pay for that machine, that can also be part of your matching funding. There was a total of 12 million available for these uh, five years, and we can grant uh, one and a half million in total uh, to all the grantees together for this ninth selection round. So that means that uh, we can support between eight and 30 beneficiary projects. It, uh, how many projects we can support really depends on the amount that is requested. Um, so first we will make a ranking of, of, of the projects, projects that are um, the highest quality will be ranked first. If all good projects request 200,000 euros, then we can only support seven or eight projects. But if it's a smaller amount that is requested, then we can uh, support more. So I cannot uh, tell you upfront how many projects, uh, but we have a budget of one and a half million euros available. Uh, on top of the grant funding, we can also uh, provide advisory support. So we can also pay for consultants uh, during the course of the projects. Uh, and that means that, that we can pay for up to seven mandates a year. Uh, for two consultants and, and it's mainly like if you encounter a bottleneck during during the process of the during your project and and you need external advice you need help then you can request for this uh, technical support for this uh, these consulting hours we can finance the consultants fees but the other expenses like uh, transportation, accommodation, and things like that will be borne by the, the grantees. And there is an adjusted procedure, so it's relatively simple now to, uh, to re request this technical support. Here you can see the website of the Business Partnership Facility, and I cannot stress it enough, please go and check out this website. There is a lot of very useful information on the website, both on the application procedure, on the selection process, um, all information on all the grantees from previous cohorts is on the website. And last but not least, there is a very detailed list of frequently asked questions. 
So we see that uh, we always keep getting back the same questions. So please go and check out this list of frequently asked questions before contacting us as, uh, because we get a lot of questions. Uh, the closer to the deadline, the more questions. Uh, and it's better if we can focus our time on those questions that are not uh, mentioned in frequently asked questions. So please go to the website, check it out. Also on the website of the of the foundation, you can um, find information on BBF, uh, also the press release and stories and things like that. Uh, okay, that was the first part. So general overview of, of the call, of the selection process, selection criteria. Uh, I will give you a very high level overview of projects that got support in the past. If you need more details, uh, please go to the BBF website. So a lot of projects are uh, related to food and agriculture. So we have cocoa projects, we have, um, we have uh, projects to, to dry fruits, to reduce uh, food waste. We have uh, a couple of honey projects. Um, we have... Uh, uh, we had a project in Zimbabwe to establish 20 bakeries with female uh, entrepreneurs. We also have a project to set up uh, uh, a transformation unit uh, for she butter locally. Um, drying process. Um, coffee and cocoa that always comes back. Um, we also had a project in Burundi, uh, the development of essential oils, oils supply chain. Um, in Nepal, we had a, a dairy project uh, and a tea project. Uh, in Peru, um, there was a project about giving the farmers access to the fair tra trade market in Europe. Uh, another honey project in Madagascar, in Burkina Faso, is the setup of, of uh, greenhouses for sustainable farming. So a lot of projects uh, related to food and agriculture in different countries, different uh, products. Uh, some are related to, to certification, to training. Uh, so it's very, very diverse. We have three projects related to water and sanitation. Um, so a, a water mini grid uh, powered by renewable energy to, to, to provide safe drinking water. Um, also water EDMs for safe drinking water. That's another project. And in Ethiopia, we have a project uh, with, uh, to set up a distribution chain, a distribution channel for water filters. It will not be a surprise to you that we also receive quite some applications for uh, renewable energy projects. So this goes from, from, from solar home systems, uh, uh, electrical motorcycles. Uh, we had one about a solar powered cold room close to markets. Um, we have a hydro power plant uh, in portfolio as well. So uh, quite some projects related to renewable energy. Recycling, of course, also uh, very necessary. Uh, recycling of food waste, recycling of plastic, uh, recycling of ICT material, um, recycling of, 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 of coconut waste. Uh, so uh, quite some projects uh, related to uh, reducing waste in all forms as well. Two projects related to uh, business services in Congo. One was uh, a credit guarantee fund uh, for local entrepreneurs, and one was a support to an incubator in Kinshasa uh, to set up uh, an incubation program there. One a private school got BPF funding. Uh, the expansion and upscaling uh, was part of their project. And one health project uh, about a digital tool uh, to help low-income families to get an easier access to qualified uh, medical staff. 
one housing project in Nepal to set up um, a micro business model with eco friendly building blocks. And two projects in India, one was uh, a social weaving and knitting workshop and one uh, in Rwanda, not in India, uh, about uh, eco friendly sanitary pets. So this is just a very quick high level overview of the different projects that got support uh, in the past. The selection of the last selection round is not yet on these slides. We are currently uh, signing the agreements and then the new uh, projects will also be added to the BBF website. This slide is to give you an idea of the popularity uh, of the call. So on average, we received 213 projects application per round, but there was a steep increase uh, during the last uh, rounds and especially uh, round eight was very, very popular with 377 applications. Uh, so it is a very popular call. This is not to say that, 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 that it's not useful to apply, but it's really um, just to tell you that it's popular, that you better check all the selection criteria and make sure that you are aligned with all the selection criteria, because if the project is only partially in line with, with the requirements that, that we look for, then unfortunately you will not have a very high chance of, uh, of getting BPF support. <clears throat> Sorry. Most uh, applications request a higher amount between 150,000 uh, and 200,000 euros, and this is quite stable uh, over all selection rounds. So um, most projects are requesting this higher amount, which means that if we have a fixed amount uh, to distribute, uh, like one and a half million for this selection round, we will most probably not be able to support 30 projects, but it will uh, rather be uh, nine, 10 or 11 projects. So this was in a nutshell, uh, the information on BBF. More information, again, please go and check out the website of the Business Partnership Facility, especially the Frequently Asked Questions uh, section. You can find my contact details here as well. Uh, if your question is not, in the, not on the website, um, don't hesitate to reach out uh, to me or to one of my colleagues. So these were my slides for today. That was about half an hour. Thank you all for your attention. We still have a lot of time for questions. I will go to the chat box to see for those questions that have not been answered yet. Um, if you want to raise a question, you can unmute yourself and ask the question directly. And uh, hello. Yes, all information is also available in French. Hi, uh, Elke. Hi. Can the matching funding go towards several parts of the project? For example, can it be provided in the form of staff time and materials under the budget? Uh, Staff time, it depends. So if it's uh, like um, an in-kind donation of staff, then that cannot be part of, of the matching funding. But if it's really dedicated staff and, and you can show that they were really appointed for this project only and there is like a transaction made that if you get a um, financial control in the future, uh, because that's something that the Belgian Development Com Co Corporation can do. If they come and do a financial check, that you can really prove that you paid the salary and that that person was really occupied with uh, with this project, then it's possible. But it cannot be an in-kind um, contribution. Um, staff time and materials uh, from the for for profit partners. That's important. Yes. Um, you mentioned that at least one for-profit partner, does that mean an NGO can be in the lead of the application? Yes, thank you for the question. I, I should have mentioned that as well. 
Um, so there is indeed one lead partner, the one that that that, that fills in the questionnaire, that uh, gets contacted by us. That if you get selected, the lead partner will also be uh, in charge for reporting. Uh, they will receive the payment. They will sign the agreement. Um, the lead partner can be the for-profit partner or can be the NGO partner. Both options are, are possible for us. We see that in most projects, it is the, the business partner that is in charge, that is the lead partner. But for us, uh, all options are, are eligible. Uh, can the for-profit partner also be one of the African countries, non-Belgian? Yes, definitely. So there's absolutely no need for one of the partners to be Belgian or European. So South-South partnerships are uh, equally uh, eligible. Can a business, business that has been supported before be eligible for this partnership again? Uh, yes, that's possible. Uh, and, and, and we have several examples that uh, the same for-profit partner got a second grant. Um, however, until now, the first project was or always um, finished before they applied for a second grant. So I don't know if this, this refers to a specific project. Uh, until now, the jury never... Um, gave a second grant if the first project was not yet finished. Can a new company, a new legal entity with experienced professionals apply for the BBF facility? Uh, it's true that we need a local entity for the local anchor of, of, of the project. Um, and, and it depends how how new the new company is. If you just want to set it up for BBF, that's unfortunately not possible. But if, if it's a one year old company, for example, one or two years old, uh, that's okay for, for BBF. So we need financial data of at least uh, one year. Can I submit more than one project? Uh, yes, that's possible. Uh, and I don't know if you come from a for-profit or a non-profit. If you are a for-profit, uh, you can submit several projects, but the total uh, budget that will be granted to you will be maximum 200,000 euros. So if you, if you request two times, two times 200,000 euros, only one project uh, can be selected. If you are a non-profit, there is no limit, so you can be part of several projects uh, in the final selection. Uh, some of questions about previous calls. Uh, some have not yet received an answer why they have been rejected. Uh, it's true, as I mentioned, there were 377 uh, applications, so I'm still contacting uh, some companies that were rejected in the previous call, but please, uh, may I ask you for some more patience, I will come back to you on time if you want to reapply for the next round, that you will have the information on time. Uh, if you have not heard anything about the previous call, uh, then um, there must be a technical hiccup because we informed everybody already about the outcome. So if you were selected or were not selected, this has been clearly communicated already. Just the reasons why you have not been uh, selected, uh, I'm a little bit uh, behind that. But indeed, if you have not heard anything, uh, your project was uh, rejected for the previous round. Is it possible to apply for a technical assistance facility for a number of different companies? Um, I'm not sure if I understand the context of this question. Um, for To get technical assistance from BPF, it is necessary that you get the grant first. So this uh, part only applies for the grantees. So it's not a, a separate thing that you can apply for. So when you get selected, when you are a BPF grantee and you encounter a difficulty during the pro project, then you can apply for technical assistance. And indeed, if there is a, a partner that is involved in several projects, indeed, you can request technical assistance for more than one project, for more than one company. 
Sorry, maybe I can just explain. Can I submit a project at pilot stage? Yes, that's a very good question as well. Um, we need um, a proof of concept already. So we need to see that the business model works, that there is a market for this uh, product or for this service, and that you already have some revenues coming in. Uh, so if it's pilot pilot and you, it, it, it's just an ID and you want to try out certain things, then BPF is not uh, the right tool for you. And there is a question of someone who maybe joined a bit later. If there is a round after 2023, unfortunately, there won't be any, any other round. So our, from the start, we knew that BBF was for five years, that it would end in 2023. Uh, so this is the final, final call. And there is no BBF uh, 2.0 or something like that. It will be completely over after this, uh, this call. I think I replied to most questions in the chat box. If you have other questions, you can type it in the chat box or you can un unmute and ask me the question directly. Also, if my answer was not uh, not clear or not sufficient, don't hesitate uh, to let me know. I can see one hand of Midramo Consulting. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Can, can I go ahead to ask my question? Yeah, my name is Rashid from Midramo. Can I go ahead to ask my question? Sorry, we Hello. cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? Hello? I hear you. I yes, I was muted previously, but I won't mute myself. Hello, yeah, can you hear me now? Going wrong with yeah, yeah, yourself. I'm speaking. Sorry. I don't know if you can hear uh, me. If, if, if uh, someone else can hear him, please type the question in the chat box because I cannot hear you. Maybe we can do. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Sorry if I pronounce your name in a different way. <laughs> do you have a question for us? Yeah, Midramo. Midramo, can you hear us? Yes, I can. I can hear you clearly. I just want okay. to be sure if you can. Okay. So go you. ahead. Okay, yeah, my name is put Rashid. Your, put your question. I can see your Yeah, my, hand, na my name is Rashid from Nigeria. Yeah, I want to find out BPF funding. Can it be used for equipment? Um, Hello? Let me check. Yes. Hello, Those can you hear me? Midramo Consulting. Yes, I'm speaking. I don't know if you can hear me. Hello? And the Wodros yes, yes, the that's my Hanu. question. Can it be used for equipment? Yeah, not that's my question. Not for now. Someone else uh, who has Elke, a question Elke, for can, me. Elke, can you hear me? Elke? 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 Not for now, oh, in the chat, yes. Um, oh, we can hear you, but Elkin maybe can't hear you. Oh, sorry for that. Is there? I don't know, maybe a problem with my sound, apologies. Um, BPF, can it be used for equipment? Yes, no problem. You can buy equipment, uh, infrastructure can be paid uh, by, by the BPF brands. Elke, don't think you can hear any of us. Ooh, I'm sorry, what to do? I will try to go out of the meeting for a little while and I will log in again. Uh, then maybe uh, the problem of my sound uh, is solved. Sorry, we'll, I will be right back.
So while uh, Mika is coming back, I say bye bye to everyone. I have to go. I'm sorry. Enjoy it. Cheers. Here I am, unmuted. So if we can try again with your questions, maybe. Do you hear us? Do you hear me? No, sorry. I don't know what the issue is. Uh, Pascaline, I don't know if you can hear him, if you can reply to, to the question. Yeah, my audio settings, but um... yes, I can hear you. And I think it's in the audio things because at the beginning I couldn't hear also. But in the meantime, you can ask the questions. I will try to reply and I can also write them in the chat. Do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, um, this is still Rose Um I have a question. Can the uh, KBF facility be used for the creation of an investment vehicle in uh, Belgium or Luxembourg to invest in projects that are aligned with uh, the, the, the conditions of the KBF facility? Not specifically a project because I see a lot of projects, but not especially investment vehicles. So um... um okay, I'm not sure about the answer, so I will ask to Elke. Um so it's about wait. Eh? So it's in Luxembourg and Belgium or Luxembourg, depending on the, um, the investors base. Uh, so that, that's the question. If the KBF facility, so the amount that would yes. be granted, could be used to support the creation of an investment vehicle in Belgium and or Luxembourg. Um, voilà. And it relates to the question I asked earlier about the creation of a new company, legal entity. Um, so as a vehicle, as a, a beginning and an end, as a, as a, in terms of lifetime, this is why when uh, your colleague referred to it needs one year existence, it, did, it doesn't really uh, work with that type of model. Uh, so that's why I, I wanted to have maybe some precision if possible. Elke? Yes, I think now? I can hear okay. you now. Okay. Oh. Maybe, David Russ, can you repeat your Sorry question? Sorry for that. Sorry. <laughs> um, good. Uh, hello, Elke. This is Theodor. I don't know if you can see me. Um, Hi. In fact, I think that the question I asked is just now written. My question was about the BB, BPF amount. Uh, can it be used for the creation of an investment vehicle? Because we most of the time speak about specific projects, about uh, uh, local projects. Here it's about uh, investment vehicles that are supporting um, projects on the ground, companies on the ground uh, that respect that are aligned with the SDGs. Uh, have you ever had these type of examples in the past, or if not, even if is, would it be possible moving forward? Uh, we have one example like that. We had a, a project in, in Kivu, and with the grant, 
is like a bank guarantee um, locally. Okay. So with this grant, uh, a lot of companies got um, a loan from a local bank because mm -hmm. we could uh, give the bank guarantee. So that's mm -hmm. not completely similar to what you are referring to, but uh, this is the only example that is a little bit uh, in line. Okay. It is a very specific uh, question. So if you want, um, you can send me an email and we can set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting uh, to talk about the specific details of the project uh, to see if it can fit or not. Okay, okay, all good. Perhaps I can also um, uh, just spell out my question a little uh, more clearly. I'm Lisbeth Sacco from Nordic Impact Funds. Um, my question was around the TA facility. Um, and I think it, it was mainly misunderstood um, because we're not asking for TA from um, uh, from the facility as such. We are uh, asking for technical assistance to the portfolio companies uh, to uh, help um, uh, implement a climate adaptation strategy within the portfolio companies. So I think the situation is a little different when you're talking about a fund um, than for a specific company. So my question was really, can you it's a little similar to the one just asked, can you apply as a fund uh, to several different companies or can you only apply to one of the portfolio companies? And you are a for-profit as well? Yes. Then, then it is possible, um, yeah. Okay, great. Any other questions for now? Yeah, please, can you hear me, please? Hello? Yes, hello. Okay, great. I observed, I, I tried to complete your the form for the eighth round, but I was unable because there are some questions in it that, I, uh, that I, we don't understand if it's a reputation or not. Is it possible that we can have your email so that we have a one-on-one? -on -one? section with you because on the section whereby we need to put in the uh, the amount of our contribution we they, there is so many box there that we don't even understand where to put in our contribution and where your own contribution request for your own contribution comes from because we we saw it it looked like a reputation and because of that that's why we didn't put in for the eighth round but yeah, we, I think you are referring to the table for, of the matching funding. Yes, yes, the table yes, of the matching yes. funding. So it can help if you try to log in into a bigger screen so that you have a better overview of, of, of the table on small screen, sometimes difficult. Uh, so for, for that table, it's really that, that you clearly mention uh, this partner will contribute this amount and it's an investment and that partner will contribute this amount and it's a loan or, or something uh, like that. So that is what the table is all about. But it will definitely uh, share my email address here in the chat. So here uh, you have my email address. If you have other questions, you can definitely uh, contact me. Uh, but please check out the frequently asked questions on the website uh, first. Maybe your answer is there already. No other questions in the chat, I think.
I see a lot of thank yous and people leaving. So then I guess uh, the presentation was clear to most of you. Uh, so again, you will receive the slides and the link to the recording. Feel free to share it with your network. And uh, if you have other questions, uh, when you're trying to complete the questionnaire, the application, uh, check out the frequently asked questions. And if not, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Then I wish you a very nice day and looking forward to your applications. Thank you. Bye bye.